Today, we are about to find out what is our FTP. And if you don't know, that's an all out effort for average watts on the bike. We're gonna do 20 minutes and leading us today is Sky Mach. What are your accolades though, Sky? Well, I am a four-time Ironman champion, a two-time 70.3 champion. I've been top 10 at the Ironman World Championships three times, and I've broken the American record for fastest female twice. Okay, so we're gonna wow. see if we can keep up with your average pace during what the Ironman would be on the bike. Roll the footage. Is it file transfer protocol? Is yeah, what is FTP? an FTP? <laughs> FTP is functional threshold power, and it's this flashy number in cycling and in the endurance world. Well, it is a test of how much power you can push for about 20 minutes. There's different ways you can do it, but a standard one's 20 minutes straight, all out effort, as hard as you can go. And you want to ride as even as you can go. Ironman is typically pretty zone two heavy. FTP, we're looking, this is more zone five effort. You know about zone five? I do know about zone five. I very rarely tap into zone five. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Well, you guys better get ready because 20 minutes of zone five is fun. So what do you go? You go one scoop hydro? Go, go one scoop hydro. Okay. And then I want to have extra sodium because I'm sweating so much these days. Extra sodium. So I add in this guy here. And Just then you beta alanine. And then I beta alanine. Because you want to talk to ghosts. We want to have third lung capabilities these days. Yep. So do you know what I do here? What do you do? One, double scoop. Damn. That's it. No races. Light your face You're up. You're planning on going fast today, I think. I'm going to try and have a, I'm gonna have a high capacity day. OK. Right, we got peach, mango, strawberry, beta alanine stack. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. You got this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Omi can drink water. I'm trying to become a better swallower like you. I could throw down food, I could throw down drinks. I'm still upset that I lost the pickle eating contest. Wow! I've been practicing. Have you? Yeah. Swallowing pickles? All right, hey, before we get going on this, I think we gotta get race ready, you know what I mean? Keep it going, three, two, one. Hey! Oh. Look at that. How many watts does it take to power a light bulb? I honestly... I think it's 60. 40? Yeah, they got 40 watts, they got 60 watts. Yeah. They have different kinds. You go to Home Depot, there's a whole department for that. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be powering the city of Cleveland. Connecting my Whoop to the Concept 2 bike so that I can see what my heart rate is. We're setting up a workout, custom list, new workout, single time, 20 minutes. Okay, you guys ready? You don't want to do this? I'll join in for some 200 watt efforts here and there, but baby girl's like working me hard 36, right now. 36 weeks pregnant, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. So we're gonna give 36. her a break today. All right. Okay, ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go! What's your damper set up? Um, I'm at like a five. I'm trying to get to the 200 watt range. Hey, you guys, if you can talk, you're probably not going hard enough. You know, we want to start out strong, but we don't want to start out too strong because this is 20 minutes. That's a long time to go all out. So, Making sure they're breathing, making sure they're not getting too excited. Make sure you hydrate, stay positive. Positive thoughts are really important during these tests. <laughs> what, uh, what RPM would you be at? I'd probably be between 75 and 85, but everyone's kind of different on that. Well, coming up for a go on while we're recapping this workout. Okay, so you're doing an Ironman. You're doing an Ironman in 16 days. But why? Well, 15 years ago I did it and I want to beat that time now that I'm 40. I finished in 16 hours and 19 minutes. So I'm due in four weeks. I'm giving myself a few months to like really recover and not stress about sleep and all that. And then hoping to get back onto a training plan. I'm just trying to hold on to these 200s. I'm, I'm averaging 224 at the moment. I'm trying to hold it at just over 200, but it's jumping all over the place. I'm actually already qualified for the Ironman World Championship next year in Kona, which is mid-October. So it'll be about 10 and a half months postpartum. I hope to be back in fighting shape and have my baby grow with me. I honestly yeah, I hate these tests. Awesome. They make me so nervous. You have this expectation of yourself of what you want to hold. So that makes me nervous because if I don't hold what I want, then I guess I'm a little disappointed. But I'm also very nervous for the pain because these are really, really painful. Honestly, I'd rather do an Ironman than do an FTP test. What? <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. I spent a lot of time on the bike, but I very rarely go above 200 watts. I'm in zone three right now. And I know I spent quite a lot of time in this heart rate zone. I started slow and I want to ramp and finish with negative split the last 10 minutes. Okay, I like it. Five minutes in. This is fun. I never thought I'd be into coaching, but maybe I am. 15 years ago, I did it with only training CrossFit for a year leading up to it. 
This is the most I've ever trained for any endurance event specifically. You came in and you're like, hey, there's this apparently like champion of Iron Man that goes to our gym and she can kind of show us the ropes on this FTP test. You guys keep it up. What is your FTP? What's your Fran time? And it's basically like the cycling world's equivalent of what's your Fran time. Today we're gonna use Concept 2 bikes to test the wattage. You can test it on road bikes or any other sort of stationary bike, but basically you're, you're doing some sort of test to see what your average watts would be for a 20 minute ride. I'm gonna do some 200 watts with you guys. Okay. You know like these big endurance events, people sign up and then they're like, oh, I need to train, I need to train, but it's really hard to fit in the training when you've got family and work and everything. So if your life's not built around the training, I think a lot of people get to the start line kind of under-trained, under-prepared, but they can suffer through it and experience the day. It just takes them a lot longer. Heber's been training for his Ironman for mm -hmm. about maybe two months at the most. Would you say that's less than the average at goer? I think the fact that he's got two months under his belt and the general fitness and the mental fortitude he already has, he'll suffer, but he's going to be fine. So I knew, having done a lot of cycling recently, that I could get up to 250 for like a 90 second window. So I do like 90 and then I drop down to like 110 or 130 for the next 30 seconds. Maybe I could hold 250, but I think a more reasonable number for me today would be a, a 200, and that's gonna be honestly a little bit more of like what I'm gonna be doing on the Ironman. Halfway, guys. <sighs> okay, you gotta hold on to these nine watts. Yep. But I'm at like 260, and you know, about five minutes in, I started to feel it all right above the knee, and it just stayed there for 20 minutes. I'll take some candy corn. Okay. One thing that I like to think about for the Ironman is that it's, it's an eating contest with a race in the middle of it, because you just have to consume a lot of food. Is this what you recommend I eat? I mean, I usually go for gels, but any sugar at this point is gonna be good. Learning how to consume food while I'm at a high heart rate has been an interesting challenge. She was kind enough to hand deliver some candy corns to us mid-race, which gave me a nice little boost. That was a nice little boost. We've seen it happen firsthand. Vastly impact, truly. Definition of a bonk right yeah. there. Uh, my average is dropping. You started really hot the first minute, two minutes, and your average watts was like 212 or something. Yeah. And mine was like 198. And you can tell he's been riding the bike more. Look, he's just like cruising. You might be able to hold that for the whole Ironman. Minute 15 to 10, my average watts was lower than what my pace, what I was holding, meaning that my watts would go up. Your average watts was higher than what you were holding at minute 12. Lock it down, baby. I think I've paced it correctly where I'm gonna have negative splits and on the back half, we're gonna, we're gonna kick it in the gear. Eight minutes left, I'm a 209 average. Your heart rates are close to the same. 162, 163. Ironman's incredible, it's a really long day. I would maybe recommend easing into Ironman. You can do some local races, sprint, Olympic, distance, shorter distances. See, these guys are wearing like running shoes. They're great for running, but to really get the max power out of your pedal stroke, if you're clipped into the pedal, you can really get more leverage and more power out of it. I'm actually really impressed that they're doing this in these shoes. I fell in love with distance running in high school. I ran a marathon when I was 16. I learned about triathlon in high school, and then I did my first one in college. I borrowed my friend's bike, did like this mini sprint triathlon, and just loved it. I dropped a watt. After like four or five years of sitting at my desk being a CPA, I was kind of bored of it and I just needed a new challenge. And that's when I went part-time at my job and I hired a coach and I was like, I'm gonna be a professional triathlete. Five minutes, you've already done that three times. I won my first race in 2019. So it took me like four or five years to really build up and make it my career. But now I have sponsors and I'm lucky to call it my job. <sighs> Five minutes, let's okay, go. Okay, you guys both have 208 average watts. He's gone up, I think, eight watts, nine watts, 10 watts in the last five minutes. Four minutes, let's go. Come on, four minutes. As I was watching my wattage go down, in the back half, I was really just stepping on it and trying to get those to go back up because I looked over and I saw that you were higher wattage in there. <laughs> 90 seconds. 90 seconds, that's nothing. And then she said, hey, the last 90 seconds, you really have to send it. I think I pumped it up to a 300 for the last minute. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Uh, <sighs> this should be everything you've got. You should want to barf at the end of this. That's how hard it should be. I'm glad I'm not them. Shit. 
Fine. Oh, yeah. And I ended up with an average watts of, I think, two, 216, I'm going to say. 216? 216 or 217. And I, I think it was a 211. So, yeah. You know, we call that. Hey, Marge. What's up? What do you know about a one game win streak? Ah. How are you guys feeling? Right here. <laughs> Just right there. <laughs> That's where all of the fatigue is. So, I was two. 11? Yeah. My ears are ringing. Yeah. I've got tunnel vision. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you hold for an average for an Ironman? You know, I can hold right about there, a little higher for a full Ironman. So I'd hold, I'd hold that for like four and a half hours. Could you go another four and a half hours with that? That was it, man. That was 20 minutes all out. I don't know. It's, I have to hand it to you guys for being able to go for, what's your fastest Ironman time? Um, my fastest full Ironman time is eight hours, 22 minutes, something seconds. What? That's, I, I, you're, you're shooting for 16 hours, double that? If I, if I can get sub 16, 19, that's a, that's, a, that's a dub for all heaves. That's just the bottom, that's, that's bronze on the podium of, of achievement. What'd you think of what you saw today? Pretty impressed? Yeah, I'm really impressed. You guys were suffering, but I was impressed that, you know, we're just here in the gym doing this. We're not even clipped into the pedals. You've never done this before. Just all out and you guys are down. That stuff is painful. I honestly hate doing these kinds of tests. She said she'd rather do an Ironman than an FTP test. I would. I really, really would. Going that hard is just so painful. It's elite athletes like Sky here. What makes them elite is their ability to forego pain and just push through it and get to a place that a lot of us can't. We have to train that skill. Something Mars and I do pretty good is we, we get close to that red line, but we don't go as close to it as they do. We're not burning our fingertips on the line. We're just kind of like throwing a fishing rod at it. So solid, solid effort to do it four time Ironman champ. Yep, four times. And how long have you been competing in the Ironman sport? Um, so I've been racing professionally since 2016. I actually did my first Ironman at Ironman Arizona in 2016. So, yeah. If you don't know, that's where I will be doing my Ironman in exactly 16 days. Woo. Would you recommend doing this 16 days out before the race? You know, I probably wouldn't, but it's a good workout nonetheless. Just make sure you recover. Would you recommend going to Scotland the weekend before an Ironman for a fitness event there? Probably not. That travel and jet lag is going to be pretty rough, but if, if that's what you've got going on, then just try to get the best sleep you can. You heard that we did an FTP Ooh, training session. Tell me about your favorites. experience with the FTP. Okay, so my first time ever doing an FTP, it was in Matt Fraser's garage, the one in Tennessee, and Hinshaw was with us. It was the first time we had to do it. And I remember him saying, whatever, I, I literally, I lived with this for the rest of my career. Whatever you can hold for 13 minutes, you can hold for 20. And at that time, I got a, it was like a 215 or 217 average that I got. And then after that, I just sent you guys the workouts but Ben had me always go through these like FTP cycles and they're some of my favorite workouts. And I felt like they got me so good at like learning how to use different dampers on the bike. And then my all time best one was a 257 watt on the bike. And also I remember I do this in like 20 second increments. I literally, these are some of the hardest workouts I've ever done in my career or the 20 minute FTP test. I'd get so nervous. And by minute like 240, I'm like, just make it to the three minute mark. Okay, get to the 320, great. Get to the 340, fantastic. Get to the four minute, like this is literally how I do my 20 minute test in 20 minute, 20 second increments. And so I love it. It's some of the hardest things I've ever done. Also, if you're watching and you're a fan of this sport in Dubai, it's one of the workouts, but they have the rule that you have to have the damper set at 10 for the entire 20 minutes, oh which God. sounds miserable okay. and kind of fun. This has been a dream of mine through my whole career is one of the workouts of the game is being a 20 minute bike test. And I would love for it to be a 20 minute bike test, have everybody's, remember the row, how it was showing you the current average or the average you were at and then the current pace that you were at. And I would love to go up against everybody and just see like, what are they holding? Who's falling off? Who's picking up speed? That would be an insane workout. Shout out to the Whoop. We're gonna go over our cycling strain for the FTP. I was in, uh, it was a 9.5 strain, but mostly zone four. She was saying we should have been in zone five, but I only got 1% of zone five. What about Wait, you, my guy? Real quick, did you back it up? Did you cycle it? You put it as a cycle? Yeah, a cycle. I put it as a spin. I spent 13 minutes at 80 to 90% of my max heart rate. 
This is nine more minutes than I typically spend. Even though I'm doing hours of biking right now, I'm not hitting that heart rate very often. So it was fun to tap into that today. We got a dub. Shout out to you, to me. Yeah, good job to me. Shout out to the Butter Gang. Who are we gonna go talk to? Spencer Sullivan, 34, out of the United States. Sullivan 08. Uh, have a number of activities, eight. 142 data streak. What are we gonna send them? Hey, yo, Spencer, slide into my DMs on Instagram and we are gonna hook you up with a brand new Whoop Strap. Hopefully it's that new Buttery Bros one. That concludes the Whoop and the Buttery Game. We out of here. But it's not, because if you wanna use Whoop, it's the best fitness tractor out there. We're gonna have great deals coming up for Black Friday. And if you wanna do us a solid, use the link in the description and you will get one free month, one free band, and money back guarantee that you'll like it for 30 days. That concludes the Butter Game. We're out. All right, well, we just want to say thanks for letting us know what you know an FTP is and you teaching us and dropping some knowledge bombs yep. today. And good luck on your future pregnancy. Hey, thank you. Thank yeah. you, guys. It's been really fun. And I wish you guys the best. Yeah, thanks for, for coaching us today. And we'll uh, good luck with your big achievement coming up. Yes, thank you so much. much harder than what we're doing. Maybe we can do an Ironman next year together. Let's do it. Yeah. Gang, gang. Ah.